much pain. <laughs> they, all, they all went through it. <laughs> no way. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tani here. Welcome back to yet another video. We're out here at Fort DeSoto Pier. We're gonna be fishing for Spanish mackerel. Hopefully we can catch a few and then we're gonna cook it up for you guys. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we get lucky. We got a few dozen of green bags. Actually, we only have a dozen of green bags. Um, they're all small down there, but some of these are pretty decent size. We got like a dozen of green bags. We're gonna throw them down and uh, hopefully get on some Spanish mackerel for the catch and cook. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we get lucky. Here we go. I'm just using this uh, one-aught, that's a one-aught um, long shank. Bait Buster by Trident Hook. What I'm doing here is freelining, guys. I'm not using any weight, just straight line and hook. 15 pound braid and 30, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. I know some of you guys are asking, man, Donnie, how are you able to cast the bait out there without weight? It's because I'm using light line, man. Yeah, that's the key, using light braid. The braid has no memory, so you're able to cast a lot further versus mono. Watch this. I'm barely fishing. Want it? There's one, baby. Not a bad size. He's a keeper. He's got to be 12 inches. We're going to measure him 12 inches to the fork. See, look, we don't need that much bait to, to catch these guys. They're really, really easy to catch, man. Good eating, too. He hit it. He went after it. He's dead now. Let's see if he'll still take it. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. He's dead, and Oh, that's a big one. Oh, we got it. Holy. Too easy, man. He's little. We might throw this guy back. He's, he's small. They're hitting dead ones, man. All you got to do is jig it, really. Look at the teeth. Look at that teeth. I would hate to be a greenback. All right, we're going to release it. See ya. All right, here's another bait going down. I'm just hooking it through its nose, just like that, and just let him swim freely in the water. There it is. What is that? Oh, it's a jack. It's a blue runner. We're gonna, we're gonna cook this guy up too, man. <laughs> we're gonna cook up this bait. People are saying that they're good eating, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out today. See if they, if they really are good eating. This is like bait fish, but we're gonna cook them up. They were out here thick, guys. Oh, oh no. <laughs> got took that time. Oh, he clipped me. Dang it. <sighs> got clipped. Clean cut. 30 pound. Oh, he missed it. Oh, oh he got it. Oh, no. That's 
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are those? Mackerel. Mackerel. The Spanish mackerel just, the bite just started slowing down, so I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully um, we can get on some snapper. I'm switching out my leader material. I'm throwing on 25 pound. I had on 30 pound earlier. Hopefully it makes, it makes a difference. Just tying on a regular uni to uni, double uni or whatever you want to call it. That's it. And then, oh, I'm going to switch to like smaller hook. Because I was using the J, long shank J hook. All right, man. Let's get some snapper. Oh, oh, they are fired up, man. Oh my goodness, they are so fired up, guys. Oh, he got it. They're, oh no! Oh, that was a big one. There it is. Tiny little mangrove. We're gonna release it. See ya, dude. A lot of small ones. All right, I think we're gonna call it. I'm gonna go clean up the fish and um, cook them up for you guys. All right, guys, it's playing time. We're gonna start off playing this Spanish mackerel first. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the bite just completely shut off, man. I was, I was too confident. There were, a lot, there were a lot of people waiting to board the the boat, the ferry boat or whatever that Fort Soto's got over here. And so I was just like, you know what? Let me just take a break for a little bit. You know, the Spanish mackerel is it's easy to catch. That's what I thought, right? So, <laughs> so we waited um, 30 minutes or so, and. Man, after the, the, the ferry boat left, I tried, I tried to start fishing for him again. Did not get a single bite, man. Like the bite just shut off completely. We left with two Spanish mackerel and a, a, um, a blue runner, which I'm curious to try out because I've been hearing people are saying that blue runner is pretty good eating, so we'll find out today. All right, we're gonna finish up filleting this fish and um, throw them on the grill later. I might want to take out the bloodline too because I know these Spanish mackerel got the worst bloodline. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the worst, but you know. This will feed me and the camera person, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. It's gonna be good, guys. Oh, look at that. Clean, nice and clean filet. I'm just gonna take off that bloodline there. I don't like it. Slice it off. There we go. I heard they're good ceviche too. So we're gonna season it now with Everglades seasoning. This is the, this is the stuff right here. Good stuff. Get all the seasonings in there. Should be good, man, hopefully. There's one batch. This is the Blue Runner. Oh man, I'm interested to see how this will taste. I think it's done, it's cooked. Fully cooked. Let's uh, let's try it out. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it. I wish you guys could smell it. That smells really good. Let's try it. Ooh, 
hot. Man, that's good. Mm. Good stuff, man. All right, guys, we're gonna try the Blue Runner now. I don't know, man. Looks pretty firm, look at that. It looks like it's a firm meat. Oh, yeah. Let's see, here we go. Blue Runner taste test, bait fish. Wow. It's pretty good, man. I think it's better than Spanish mackerel, to be honest. Wow, that is really good. I think I like it better than the Spanish mackerel. Because the, the Spanish mackerel is a little bit mushy, but uh, the Blue Runner, it's got that firm texture to it. I don't know, it's, it's something different. I like that. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you guys like this video. Man, I highly suggest you guys get out there and try these things, you know, try different types of species. I've never had a Blue Runner before, you know, and in my opinion, it turns out pretty good. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.